Hello everybody, it's the Horror Fan Man. Thought I'd give a update on this Christmas Eve 2016. Hope everyone's doing well and has a good Christmas tomorrow. I'll do a Christmas update maybe tomorrow night or maybe on Boxing Day to put up. So yeah, right, first up from Zavi. This come through, is quite surprised because it's um, not been released yet. It's um, Purge Election Year Steelbook. Love that cover. That one on the back as well. Looks really cool. I know this one um, got a lot of hate as well, but you know, I like the first one and the second one was like most people second one was brilliant. So yeah, that's a discard there. Uh, there's that guy inside as well. Looks pretty cool. Get it back in. And on the other side, uh, if I can get it here. It's him as well. So yeah, it's a really, really nice steel book this really happy to get it got another one waiting to come through as well so hopefully that will come through just after christmas and that's the purge election year steel book up next i've got a swap trade my, again with my good friend rob 23 great youtuber hopefully you've all subbed to him it's this one x-men apocalypse really nice looking steel book i remember the um the comic back in the day i think i've still got them somewhere got loads of marvel comics that stuck away Probably would sell them, but <laughs> don't know where to. Yeah, so not really much inside, just these um, hieroglyphics and stuff. So, yeah, it's a nice steel book. And like you said, it was only going to go to CEX, and they just rip you off like everyone knows. So, I've done a trade for a couple of spare arrows that I had. Here's the other one you give me. It's um, Plague of the Zombies. That guy there, I used to remember him. That zombie guy there from my Monsters of the Movies book back in the day. Creepy as hell. There he is there. Yeah. Haven't seen this one so long. This is fully restored as well. So there's a World of Hammer episode as well. Mummies, Werewolves and the Living Dead. New documentary, Raising the Dead. And restoration comparison and restore trailer. So yeah. Looking forward to checking this one out. Cheers, Rob. <coughs> What's that? Right. Plus, I had a few from HMV. I've got a few of the, um, the old cool looking ones that they actually do the premium ones so first one i got here it was um forbidden planet the old classic with old robbie the robot there this is number two from what's that, 1956 really really nice looking film really well shot widescreen full color really cool so i'm looking forward to seeing this again it's got deleted scenes two follow-up vehicles for robbie the robot TCM original documentary and two featurettes and excerpts from the MGM Parade TV series, wherever that is. So yeah, that's the first one there, Forbidden Planet, number two. This one, this is number three from 1971. Brilliant Charlotte Heston film, The Omega Man. Really like that cover, really smart. Yeah, this has got an introduction by co-stars Eric Leneuve, Paul Colso, screenwriter Joyce Hates Corrington, and vintage featurette, The Last Man Alive, The Omega Man. Yeah, these are cool because um, a lot of these is um, for the first time on Blu-ray. And also you get limited edition art cards. So yeah, really nice releases. I think you're going to get them through HMV. Next one is number four from 1973. Another Charlton Heston one. One of my favourite covers there. Soylent Green. Yeah. It's a really cool release that. Get nice slip boxes with them as well. And there's the art cards. This has got a commentary by Richard Fleischer and Lee Taylor. A look at the world of Soylent Green and MGM's tribute to Edward G. Robinson's 101st film. Another classic one there. Look forward to watching that. <coughs> the last one of these I got. Number six from 1976 is the brilliant Jenny Agate and Michael York in Logan's Run, another really, really nice cover there. So yeah, this has got a commentary with Michael York, director Michael Anderson and costume designer Bill Thomas and a vintage fe featurette as well. So yeah, really nice additions these. There's a few more in there, I think there was Diner and something else, but I picked these ones. Also, I sent away my um, HMV points and got this. It's a BBC TV series called Josh, signed there by Josh Widdicombe, who that's him there. Really good comedian. You can see him there in the middle. 
Yeah, it's a really cool series with um, Jack D and that about three people who share a flat. Six episodes in series one. It's really, really funny. I highly recommend it. So yeah, series two has just been on BBC as well over here. So I thought I'd get this. Pretty cool, it's signed. Didn't cost me nothing. So, also, it's another BBC TV series that turned into a film. Spooks, The Greater Good. Really cool film. This one's got Kit Harrington in it but, and Peter Firth, who's in the TV series as well. Yes, yeah, so about MI5. Really great TV series. Anyone who likes like, spy stuff and that is really cracking show. Recommend anyone who hasn't watched it. Probably a lot of you in America and around Europe you haven't seen it. But yeah, recommend this. Really cool series. Look forward to watching that with my dad. Finally got this one as well. The slipcover, Southbound. I like anthology films. And seen the trailer for this and heard some quite good things about it as well. So yeah, it's got audio commentary on it as well. So look forward to watching this. Me and the wife do enjoy the old anthology films. That Tales of Halloween, which we just watched. I think this was advertised on that. Maybe not. But yeah, that was a great film, Tales of Halloween. Also, picked up Joe Dante's original, Piranha. Another one with a cracking artwork on it. Look forward to seeing this. And it's also got an audio commentary with director and producer. Everyone know I do like my commentaries. Behind the scenes, making of, outtakes, still gallery, and radio and TV spots. So, yeah, loads of stuff on this. And great fun film. And my good friend, Wicker Boy. Give me the UV code for this. I like the film so much, I went out and bought it. And that's Lights Out. It's got um, exclusive deleted scenes in this as well, so interested to look at them. But yeah, great film. Really like the way they've done it. Every time we turn the light out, you see somebody. We turn it on, they're gone. So yeah, cheers for that wicked boy. That's that. So I've got a UV code for that if anyone wants it. And finally, I've got this bad boy as well. 10 Cloverfield Lane Steelbook. It's a pity they stuck the fucking certificate thing on the front. <laughs> and there's the back as well. Really, really cool looking Steelbook. Yeah, really doing. Look forward to watching this. I know a lot of people say it's not really 100% connected to their first film, Cloverfield, but yeah, the film was good. John Goodman's always good for his money, isn't he? So yeah, that's a nice Steelbook, that. That's 10 Cloverfield Lane. Right, plus a couple of um, 88 films come in. Slipcover edition, so it's the first one I got here. Is Ghost Town. That's for the slipcover. And there's the open artwork. I mean, that's the one I always remember from the old VHS days. The old Ghost Town. Really good film. Watched this again before I went work the other night. Really enjoyed it. That's the cool slipcover there. Really good looking poster that. Nice slip cover that one. <clears throat> it's a limited edition one. So it's got um, Fistful of Corpses. Basically a limited edition booklet because for some reason no one ever wants to talk about making of this film, which is a pity. <clears throat> you think some of the actors would, but yeah, nobody does. So yeah, very limited to what they could put out on that one. And the other one I got, this one I actually watched. So, uh, last night love that artwork there look at that Hands of Steel really really fun film got that and that's the limited edition slip cover there and Data Dalla Futuro yeah it was a really good fun film really did enjoy it a nice Italian one it's part of the Italian collection it's number 18 yeah <coughs> sorry it's about a guy who's um as you can see there's part part robot sort of terminator sort of ripoff thing but yeah he's out in the deserts in america and he's on the run from the people that built him and yeah it just goes from there people hunting him down he gets on the wrong side of some truckers that go out there as well oh so yeah really good fun film that is so yeah i recommend that one as well and yeah another cool limited edition slip cover there there's 200 of the both of them right last up as usual, I have some Arrow films here. This is just a normal Arrow films release. It's this one here called Unspoken. Did see this one advertised in the front of um, front of Tales of Halloween, but for some reason, some of their cool-looking films they don't put out on Blu-ray, which is a, which is a pity because 
this one actually looks really good as well. It's a slip cover there. But yeah, I don't know really a lot about this, but I remember the trailer looked pretty good. So I thought we'd pick this one up. It's quite cheap on DVD. That's unspoken. Seen this as well and thought, fuck it, I missed out on the limited edition one. I thought it's not the greatest film, so I'm not going to spend 70, 80 quid on it. So yeah, pick this one up for 12 99 from our, um, sorry, our price from HMV. Yeah, not a very good film. South African one made to look American. Yeah, it's a so-so film. It's worth 12 99 So I thought I'd get my hands on it. So yeah, it's Hellgate. I know a lot of people were pissed off when they re-released this and Hell Comes to Frogtown. I don't blame them if you paid them big money for it and it comes out again. But at least you've got the limited edition. Yep, yeah, <clears throat> this one as well, The Comedy of Terrors. Yeah, somebody offered me this as a trade, but <laughs> I'd already picked it up the other week. So yeah, the Vincent Price one. You yeah, know, look forward to watching this because I still haven't watched it. And yeah... If I'd only have known that, you know, a week after buying it, I could have had a trade. Yeah, that's Comedy of Terrors. Get the Amory case of this one as well with their Arrow video sale. Got brilliant Blu-rays for this eight ninety nine. So I thought I'd take advantage. Uh, works bonus. Get a few. So I finally got this one. Got the window box and all that. But I thought, you know, you just want one just for pulling in and out and watching. So uh, it's one of film I do love to watch so that's that and also like a lot of people when I have box sets I don't like pulling them in and out you wreck the edges of them and get them tatty so I got this one Battles of Our Honour and Humanity I do have the box set but this is volume one really cool cover there volume two this is Death Machine. This looks a really nice one, and it's the only one that's not red. Pretty cool artwork as well, again. Volume 3. It's Proxy War. Another nice one there. Do like the artwork on these. Number 4. Police Tactics. And last one, Volume 5. Final episode. Yeah, so look forward to watching all of them. And finally, come from America. Chuff for this one. It's the old booty chud. So happy to get this one. It wasn't released in the UK. And I thought, ah, oh, fuck it. I need to get it because I do love it. It's got um, it's got a presentation of the original theatrical cut. A limited edition exclusive as well. So, yeah. And it's also got the integral cut. New UK Sorry, 2K transfer. Yeah, brand new audio track featuring isolated score selections with an interview with composer Martin Cooper and David A. Hughes. Audio commentary director Douglas Cheek with writer Shepard Abbott and actors John Hare, Daniel Stern, Christopher Curry, which I can't wait to hear. A dirty look, an interview with production designer William Billowit. Dweller Designs, an interview with special makeup effects and creator John Caligoni. Junior. Notes from above ground. The NYC locations to Chud, which are, I do like them sort of things. Hosted by journalist Michael Gringold and filmmaker Ted Gregeran. Behind the scenes gallery, extended shower scene. Oh, can't go wrong with that. Original trailer, reversible sleeve as well. And artwork, new, and a fully illustrated collector's booklet featuring new writing on the film by Michael Gringold. So yeah, chuff to get that. Ah. I do love this film. I do have the DVD, but fuck it, I want the Blu-ray. Yep, plus new issue of Screen Magazine's also out, for anyone who's interested. Pretty, really good British magazine. Found footage, there's a Mario Barva special in it, DVD reviews, horror games, exploitation stuff as well, it's loads of 21st century frights. Loads of stuff in it. Really worth picking up. HMV and all that do it as well. Plus nice adverts there for 88 films. Yeah, so hope everyone's doing well. I'd like to thank Rob23 and Reddy and Andrew Bellina for doing the trades, which I really appreciate. And it's fun doing. You know, it's a lot of stuff that you guys got that I need and 
with Andrew in Australia, picking up can pick up stuff for me, and I can get stuff here. And Brian, you can pick up stuff in Canada as well that I can't get here, and vice versa. So yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for new subscribers because they're slowly ticking up week by week. Hope everyone has a happy Christmas. Gets what they want tomorrow. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget everybody, keep it horror.